Buongiorno, studente. Okay, today we're going to be making a rich sweet dough. And we're going to, there's different things you can make with this dough. Today we're going to be making a uh, anno di nocioli. Nocioli. Anno di nocioli, a hazelnut ring. I'm going to show you how to do that in a kolache. Now, in our 145 class, we'll be preparing uh, pecan rolls, or sticky buns as they call them, with a um, hazelnut, uh, no, no, not a hazelnut, but a, uh, uh, a smear, which is uh, brown sugar, honey, a little bit of corn syrup, and uh, butter uh, to put on the bottom of the pan. You've seen them before, and you put pecans on the bottom. Uh, they bake, and then you pop them out, and they pull apart, they're delicious. So, and, and a, a, a chocolate uh, walnut twists is what we'll be doing uh, in uh, the 145 class. So this recipe is going to be used for both, but today I'm going to show you how to uh, the method of south down. This is a sponge method. So I've already made our sponge. So our, our sponge consists of uh, milk, flour, and yeast. And you can see it's doubled in size. Yep, you can see how nice that is. We have a beautiful sponge. So we have that. And so that's the first step. We have to scald our milk. We have milk in here. So um, milk, yeast, flour. I always add just a little bit of warm water, maybe a tablespoon, to the yeast in the bowl first, just to dissolve it. And then I'll add our, our milk is scalded. It, that kills the enzymes in the milk. And so we want to uh, have that ready to go. And, and milk can be lukewarm. We don't want it too hot, because once you scald it, it's gonna get really hot, and that'll kill your yeast. So remember, best yeast growth is from 70 to 90 degrees. The uh, yeast, the flour, and I used only half the flour that calls in the recipe, because I don't like it to be a real thick, dry sponge. It should be softer like it is. So we have that ready to go. I'm going to just set that aside. So this is a creaming method. Creaming method means just like the cookies. We're going to cream the, the softened butter, sugar, and the salt till light. We're going to add our eggs to that. And then when that's ready, we're going to throw our sponge in there, uh, mix that, change it to a dough hook, and add our flour. Um, and once we have all of our, our flour and such, we'll be ready to go. So I'm going to start. We have our sponge ready. I'm going to paddle. We're going to start with the paddle. We're going to put this. Make sure this is put on correctly. There we go. So we're gonna put our butter. So your butter will be room temperature. When we're ready to make this. Okay. I want to, look how nice our sponge is. I'm going to use just a bit. There, I want to get all that butter out of here because it, the butter is expensive, right? So we want to make sure we get all that butter out. Here we go. Put that under there. Okay. So I'm going to add my sugar, my salt, and I guess I have to plug in my. Well, that's nice, huh? I have to plug in the mixer. There we go. There. So we're gonna mix this. I think I have it on speed four, which is fine. It won't take too long since the butter is nice and light. I have a little bit of extra flour here in case you need it. So I'll give this about a minute or two uh, to make it work. So again, so again, a rich dough. We're working on, on rich doughs again. Uh, we're going to proof it three-fourths of the way. We're not going to let it double in size. Only three-fourths of the way. And we have a proofer on temperature of 75 and the humidity of 50. So it's a little slower because we don't want all the butter to come out. We have to use a sponge method for this dough because it's high in fat and sugar. And so you can see, I had the, the I want to say, oh, I think there's two ounces of sugar in here and, and four ounces of butter. And so 
that's quite a bit for it to um, for it for dough. So I mean, this is going to slow down that yeast. So that is why we made a sponge. That way, it, it helps the yeast uh, advance itself and uh, gives it a head start, and so it'll be ready to go. We use milk to give it a better flavor as well. So our creaming is just right. I know you've already moved, you already know how to cream uh, for cookies and such, and we add our, our liquid just a little at a time. So sometimes it's called curdling if you pour all of your eggs in there all at once. Uh, it's just too much for the sugar and the fat to absorb. And so you will have uh, somewhat of a mess. So you have to be careful with that. We don't want any curdling. Now I want to stop this. Scrape the sides down. We always scrape the sides and everything that's off the paddle so that way it actually works really well. Now the liquid ratio to that re to this recipe itself, this is out of your professional baking book. The the recipe and the the uh, the ratio is just a little little bit off. So even if it looks my butter is nice and soft, even if it looks a little uh, broken, it still will work. So don't worry about that. It's looking good. I want to make sure it's incorporated every time I add the eggs. I don't want to go too fast. But like I said, we have it on four. Speed four, it works out great. So we can add a little bit more eggs here. It looks good. It's going really well so far. Molto bene, molto bene. So we're adding the rest of our eggs. We have that all taken care of. Get rid of those. So we have our flour here, and I have a little bit of extra flour just in case. Not sure. Now remember, it has been so dry here, there's no moisture in the air, and so it's going to, uh, it might not take all that flour. So this is our second part of our I think it's uh, 10 ounces of flour. So we'll make sure that we just don't add all of it. We need all of it. We'll, we'll be trying it. I'm going to show you. And we'll work it on the table. So I'm going to turn it up one more spot. It looks good. Like I said, this. The ratio is a little different, and so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more liquid than the eggs and sugar wants to absorb. But it'll still, like I said, it'll be fine. You don't have to worry about about it uh, breaking or anything like that because we're going to add our sponge to this. Okay, so I'm okay with this. I'm going to show you, even though it looks a little, a little broken. I'm going to show you a little. Uh, it just looks wet. I can't. So I want to make sure you see. It, it just looks a little wet, but it's going to be absorbed. So we know it's it's been creamed really well. The the uh, the fat is nice. It's soft. The sugar's in there. The salt. So we're good there. So we're going to add our. We're going to actually let's change our our dough hook. We're actually actually going to change our paddle, I should say, to our dough hook because we're going to mix this, mix the dough uh, perfectly with that. So we're going to want to do that. That looks good. Put that all up there, put that in there. Take this. Our nice, look how nice our sponge is. Very elastic. Very, very, very nice. Look at that. Alright, and get this in here as well. Get that. All right. Let me put this in the dirty dishes. Put the dough hook on. Now I'm going to add half this flour to start.
and it's it's pulling everything together. So I have it on four again. So we're on speed four. Here looks good. We're gonna add some more flour. Now rich dough, because the temperature is lower, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to, to go uh, its proofing, uh, the bulk fermentation, about three fourths of the way. So it's going to take a little bit longer because it's more of a dense dough, and like I said, the fats and the sugar slow it down. So we want to just make sure um, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing our, our uh, filling in between. I have a hazelnut filling, so we'll be preparing that. So if we're making our pecan rolls, then we'll be doing uh, our, we're getting our pans ready um, and for, for those. But like I said, this is just a rich sweet dough, so it's going to be really good. So I'm going to scrape the sides, make sure all that butter and is all mixed in. All the flour and pulls away from the sides of the bowl. So you might need a little bit more flour. Just make sure we want to get all that in there. So we're going to add, so I do, I have 